Okay, so here we are, ready to cut. I think that angle's better because you can see every slice that I cut that way. Right, now let's see how well this cutter works with melt and pot and cold process. Absolutely fine. Then when there we are, like that is so cute, isn't it? It's worked very well. I'm really pleased with it. It's exactly what I wanted. It's using a new cutter is a little bit weird to get used to because. Um, Obviously, every single slice is going to be exactly the same. And see how you've got the spiral there. I think it'll look just really cool like that. Especially with light behind it for photographs. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And even where, see the join is, obviously there's a split there, but the soap still looks fabulous. The great thing about this cutter is it doesn't take up any more as much room as this sliding cutter that I've got. As much as I love that sliding cutter, um, that's what I love about this, is the size of it. What was that? That's oh, a bit of the spiral that's popped out. I must have snapped it when I was rolling it. That's okay, it still looks fine. Actually, I didn't show you what it looks like on the top, did I? That's what it looks like on the top. Yeah, I'm glad I put the sprinkles on. <laughs> There's another piece falling out of there. But it still looks fine. It's just come out of there. samples so just split that into into two see so you can see the light shining through it right now rather than cut the other one with a spiral we'll actually cut the one with the chunks in and see what that looks like it's not going to look as good as this cut it looks nice as a whole loaf. And that's what it looks like. Obviously it's just got the line in and then the chunks on the top. So it's still pretty. And it'll, it'll look good with the light shining through as well like the other one. I don't know whether just to make this smaller slices or do them as a normal size and just sell them cheaper. I guess
guess I could do both, couldn't I? Definitely going to do some sample sizes. That piece looks quite good with just a little flick of the I'm going to adjust the, the measurement and that's the beauty with these ones you can literally do slices of any size so this is just a, a thin sample size but I'll probably cut that in half down the middle. Um, it still makes a good sample. So, as you can see, cold process with melting pot embeds works. <laughs>